Hi everyone and welcome to my super prompt for human-like undetectable AI content. I'm going to go through this and give you a demo of this prompt. If you like what you see in this prompt, which you're going to, you're going to want to go over to the Explore GPT store inside ChatGPT. Um, and you can access it there. But um, I'm going to show you an article I'm going to create about Old English Bulldog Puppies because I just bought one uh, about three months ago. And he's right there in the picture above. And so I decided to do uh, an article about Old English Bulldog Puppies and show you this prompt. And then I'm going to run it through undetectable AI to show you that it passes AI detection. And then what you can actually do with this prompt because it's going to ask you after every section it goes through, it's going to ask you questions if you like the output it's giving you. And then you can add your own, you know, whatever input you want to it to make it more of your own. Or if you like what it generates, you can say continue and it's going to keep generating contact through you for you until you get through the whole article. So I'm going to show you this uh, right now. Okay, we're going to go and write, create an article on caring for an old English bulldog puppy for the first six months. And for you, those of you who do not know what Old English Bulldogs puppies are, it's not very important really um, if you're not in the market for one. But they're the healthier version of English Bulldogs. They don't have all the health problems. And that's what I got. So they're basically half English Bulldog, and then they got Bull Mastiff in them, an American Bulldog, and I believe a little bit of Pit Bull as well. So that's the difference between the two. They're a healthier version, and they don't have the health problems. But uh, this article, let's go on and uh, start this article. So it says create an, uh, an article on caring for an old English bulldog puppy for the first six months. So we're going to see we get what it comes up with. So it's sure, let's dive right in and create a comprehensive article on caring for an old English bulldog puppy for the first six months. Six months. Here's the title. If you don't like it, obviously you can change. You can change it. I like to just go to Chat GPT and say, give me ten of the best you know, uh, titles or headlines for a blog post or for a YouTube video, whatever it may be, and then pick the top one, and then I'll go through them, and then I'll pick the one I like. It seems to do a pretty good job at that. Okay, here we go. Here's the introduction. Bring it home an Old English Bulldog Puppy is a joyous occasion. These lovable bundles of wrinkles and energy can fill your life with laughter and companionship. However, to ensure your puppy grows into a healthy and well-behaved adult, proper care during the first six months is crucial. This guide covers everything you need to know from preparation to training, nutrition, and health care. Very good. That's the introduction for it. Preparing for your puppy's arrival. Bringing home an old English bulldog puppy requires some preparation. Here's how to get ready. And this is puppy proof in your home, essential supplies. You can see this is, this is written as human-like as possible. I, I spent like six hours putting together this prompt and I continue to refine it to get the best output as possible. So everything's very human. Like if you want to, when I'm scrolling down here, I don't want to read through the whole thing. It's going to take forever, but you can kind of read it yourself as I'm scrolling and get an idea of the quality of it. And there's a conclusion. It's said to continue generating, not done yet. And then we're going to take this and we're going to run it through undetectable AI, see what it comes up with. And now you can see at the bottom it says, let me know if there's anything you would like to adjust or add. This is like the third article I've, I've created and they've already created me an outline. So I'm going to do this over again. Let's create the whole article over along with the blog post outline. And we will go through section by section like before. We're going to let this work. And then we're going to go over to undetectable AI. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to do this all over again. And you can see this one passed. I already ran it through there. This is a different article though, but it's the same thing. Check for AI. Your content appears human. So you can see it passes right there. 
And then you got and if you want to check out this tool, link will be below as well. This is probably the cheapest tool on the market that does a good job. And it actually will rewrite your content as well to humanize it. But this is already passing. So you're good to go. Um, we're going to go back over to this again. And I'm going to show you exactly what this does in a little more detail. Okay, now it's giving me the blog post outline. Introduction, preparing for your puppy's arrival, nutrition and feeding. It's going all the way through this. Let's start with the first section of the article, the introduction. Once you're happy with it, we'll move on to the next section. So it's asking you questions. Introductions, bringing home an old English bulldog puppy is an exciting adventure filled with, filled with wagging tails and slobbery kisses. These adorable little bundles of joy can brighten your days with their playful antics and affectionate nature. However, the first six months are crucial for their development and providing proper care is essential. In this guide, we'll cover everything you need to know to ensure your bulldog puppy grows up healthy, happy, and well-behaved. Very good. Uh, looks good to me. Continue. Now, if you want to make changes, all you do is tell. Put that in your put that in your um, your output here in the, in the prompt, and it'll make changes for you. Great. Let's move on to the next section. It's going to go through the whole blog post outline and and do everything. I'm not going to read all this. Like I said, I mean, you can scroll down and kind of read it as we uh, go through this. How does this section look? Let me know if you need any changes or additions you'd like before. We proceed to the next section. Continue. Oh, it's going through nutrition and feeding. So you're going to get a long and in-depth article. So we're on number three here. So we got four, five, six, and, and then seven to go. And what? And then we're going to put all this together. How does this section look? Let me know if you need any adjustments or if, we, if we're good to proceed to the next one. Look through it. If it's good for you, just hit continue. If you want to make adjustments, tell ChatGPT what adjustments you need made. And then I'll make those adjustments for you. And we're, going to do, we're going to continue. Go on to section four. Training and socialization. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you How it's going to, um, <clears throat> we're going to put everything together here at the end. Continue into one neat in-depth article, you know, that's going to be like 1,500 words or 2,000 words over. We'll see what it comes up with. It looks like it's going to be pretty pretty long though, which is a good thing because it's, de- it's in depth. You want it that for, um, you know, blog posts or whatever your, whatever content. Obviously, the, the more in-depth it is, the better. And we're going through health and veterinary care now. We've got regular vet visits, vaccinations, parasite prevention, spaying and neutering, dental care, access, exercise and weight management, common health issues. It looks good. And at the end of this video, or whenever you want, if you want to check out this prompt for yourself, prompt will be directly below in the video description box as well as undetectable AI if you want to check that out for yourself as well. So feel free to come on over, use it. Give me a, uh, if you like it, you can rate it, which I'd appreciate. And then there, there's a conclusion. So now we got all these lines through here because it's going through section by section. We don't want that. So the article's done. Now I'm going to tell it, now put this whole article together with no lines, etc. We, we just want one clean article. Clean, in-depth article. Now it's going to put this whole article together. Sure, here is the entire article. Art, sure, here is the entire article seamlessly integrated. All right, title, Caring for an Old English Bulldog Puppy, Tips for the First Six Months. A decent headline. But if you wanted to do better, you could do that too. The one thing I would like this to do is put the headers in actual header size so I could tell them, tell this GPT to do that as well. Sometimes it's hit and miss with that. Sometimes it does it. Other times it doesn't. But... um. 
it's not not a big deal. I can do that when I'm editing. It is in bold, so you know where the. Oh, here we go. Let's continue generating. Now, if you have you have time, you could just tell them to like like I said, make these headers in header two formatting or header three. I use always use header twos. Header one at the beginning usually, and that's it there. Now we're gonna check this, and it tells you. Let me know if you, if there are any further adjustments you would like to make. How many words is this article? All right, we're gonna wait for its answer. So you got a 1,662 word long article to publish to wherever you want, your blog, whatever, that's gonna pass AI detection. And we're gonna go over here, we're gonna throw it through here again and I'm gonna show you that it passes. Content appears human, passes again. You don't like something, you hit humanize. And then what this will do is rewrite it. Actually, it's good the way it is. I actually like it. Sometimes this works better, but I like my the way my prompt's writing. But if you just want to pass AI detection like across the board, this is this little what this uh undetectable AI, the software will do that for you. But this is passing as is, so we're good to go. And then you can always go through and edit it as you see fit, but it reads really well. Um, it's an awesome prompt. It took me like six hours to put together. Um, so it's a really good prompt for you to use. So if you want to check it out, link directly below in the video description box, but it passes AI detection, as you can see. And you can always, like I said, it goes, it's going to go through that each section and ask if any, there are any adjustments you, that you'd like to make. If you don't like the way it's written, you can, you know, say write in a different way. If you don't like, um... A certain word they're using, you think it's too uh, AI sounding, you could say replace it with a, you know, easier to understand synonym for that word. Um, there's all kinds of things you could do to even get it more into your style. Or you can give it a link to, you know, your your uh, about me page or one of your articles on your on your specific blog or personal blog or website and, you know, maybe tell them to scan the whole blog post or scan your about me page and say write like me and you can get the get it to train get the um, your gpt trained to write just like you so you can do that as well so there's a ton of uses for this but um excellent prompt here come on by and use it you can see it passes ai detection reads really well it's not sounding all ai no, no um it's not sounding like chat gpt because what I put in this prompt is um, get rid of the one of the many things I put in this prompt is to get rid of like the hundreds of common words that they use for that are the most common words used in chat GPT and replace it with easier to understand synonyms. So that's one of the many things. There's probably uh, I probably got 30 different instructions in this prompt to get the best quality article I possibly could get. So uh, with that being said, thanks for watching this video. If you do like it, uh, links are below. I'm also going to be giving away uh, a free ebook on my blog. That's going to be on my main blog. Link will be below for that as well. Uh, if you're into video editing, revolutionize your YouTube channel with Cutting Edge AI. Download your free guide instantly. Got a YouTube channel, want to start one, want to learn about AI, AI editing and the top AI tools. Check this out. It's a really awesome ebook. And I'm also giving away a free one hour video on how to humanize your AI content. Similar to the video I just put together, but much better. So make sure you check that out. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.